All right, in this clip, we'd actually like to take some time to talk about photo book printing. So the difference between a photo book and a portfolio, which is important to lay that groundwork before we talk about actually printing, um, a portfolio would be something that you would take a variety of different kinds of work that you would like to show off how versatile you are for any job that you apply for. Whereas a photo book is more of a themed idea that you want to show off. So if there's something certain you want to be expressing to somebody, you have a certain idea. Um, example is portraits. Um, a lot of people, a lot of famous artists do like mothers and daughters, um, collages. So um, what you would do in this case is to start off, if you're going to do it in your own home, the, the cheapest way, <laughs> you can go to any um, photo store or probably any art supply store and they have either the portfolio books or a photo book that you can buy there. And um, they have them ranging from very professional looking things to very um, personalized, cutesy kind of things that you can buy from yourself. Whatever you feel like you want to do, whatever best expresses you, especially in the photo book situation. And then um, you obviously are going to go out with your camera and take some pictures in whatever theme that you want to. And then um, you're going to have to start printing the pictures. Now, the whole crazy thing about photography right now is there's the film versus the digital. Um, film is going to be harder for you to print, obviously. I'm going to focus on digital more because that's something you can do in your home. Um, if you take out your digital camera, uh, you can have, I mean, you can obviously do this on one of the little instant cameras. A lot of, if you're going to be serious about this, you might want to go with a digital SLR and um, go out and take the photos of whatever you're looking for, um, bring it back home, and they plug it into your computer, find a program that you feel comfortable editing with, or you don't even need to edit a photo if you're comfortable with it. Um, and then you wanna try and find a nice quality paper. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy, but make sure it's photo paper. And I would say though, you wanna look for a better style printer that has um, a variety of different colors that they can, uh, sharpness of color is important. Um, and then you should be able to um, just print out those photos at your home. Whatever editing program you're using, you could definitely use to resize your photos, uh, correct sharpness, brightness, even the most simple of things that come usually on any computer can have you um, adjust contrast and brightness, which are some, I mean, and you get to play with those and decide what looks best for you. And when you make those prints, you can put them together in that book and it's definitely something special you can show to your family or something you can take along to show on um, a job interview.